In this video, let's discuss the development steps for integrating the Bootstrap to the React application. The first step is to install the necessary dependencies. The second step is to reference the Bootstrap files. Third step is to update the global style sheet, which is the index.css file. Fourth step is to redesign the expense list component. Fifth step is to create the navbar component for the menu items. Sixth step is to create the logo component. Seventh step is to update the app component. And the last and final step is to test the application. Let's discuss these development steps one by one in detail. The first step is to install the necessary dependencies. We will be installing the bootstrap dependency and the react icons library. Bootstrap, you are already aware of it. We are going to use this library to design the UI pages and the react icons. We are going to use it for adding the icons to the react application. Of course, we can use the bootstrap icons itself, but this react icons will provides a variety of icons from different sources. We can use the font awesome icons we can also use the material design icons we can use bootstrap icons and whole bunch of icons we can use it in with this library that is why we will be installing this react icons library which is also an npm library in order to install these dependencies we will execute the command npm install bootstrap react icons from the root of our project it is going to install the necessary files and it is going to register it in the package.json file the second step is to reference the bootstrap files. Once we install the bootstrap dependency, it will not automatically apply the changes. We have to reference the bootstrap CSS files and the JS file inside our main.tsx file. Because the main.tsx file is the one it is going to render the app component. So if we reference it inside the main.tsx file, then it is going to apply the changes or the design throughout the application. That is why we are going to reference the bootstrap CSS file and the JS file inside the main.tsx file. The third step is to update the global style sheet. We are going to update the global style sheet, which is the index.css file. Inside this, we are going to add the Google fonts, font size and primary color. We are going to add it inside this. The basic styling, we are going to add it inside this index.css file. We will be applying the font family to the body and HTML. Next, we're going to add the primary color to our application. Next, we're going to add the custom styling for the card body and card subtitles. We will be discussing these classes as we go further in the classes. The fourth step is to redesign the expense list component. We are going to redesign the expense list component to display the expenses. We're going to use the bootstrap card to display these expenses. The bootstrap card, it is going to contain three parts. One is card header, card body and card footer. We will be using the card header and card body. Inside the card header, we are going to add the amount and the expense. The left hand side, we are going to add the expense and the right hand side, we are going to add the amount. And inside the card body, we are going to iterate over the expenses array and we are going to create a nice div and inside the div we are going to display the expense name expense amount and the date this is just a bootstrap classes we are going to use inside this expense list component we are going to create these html classes and we are going to render it and the fifth step is to create the logo component once we have designed the expense list component next we are going to create a new component for the logo in order to add our logo to the application, we are going to create a new functional component, which is a reusable component. Later, we can use the same component anywhere else in our application. Inside this, we are going to create an anchor tag and we are going to use the bootstrap classes and we are going to import the logo. We are going to add it to our assets folder and we are going to reference it. And inside the source attribute, we are going to reference that whatever we have imported from the assets folder. We will provide the width, height, and we're going to provide the bootstrap classes, which is rounded circle, which will look like this. And we're going to export this component as a default component. The next step is to create the navbar component. We're going to create a React functional component for the displaying the main menu, 
the just to display the different links we are going to create the new component which is the navbar component and this will be a reusable component later we can reuse the same component anywhere else in our application in case if you want to display the same links inside this we are going to render the logo component also we are going to add a few bootstrap classes for the navbar and we are going to display these different links home features pricing disabled of course later we are going to change these items right now we are going to create these items with the anchor tag and also we are going to create the login and logout button we are going to use the bootstrap classes as well finally we are going to export this component as a default component and the next step is to update the app component inside the app component we are going to render the navbar component and the navbar component will also render the logo component these are the development steps and we are going to start the development from next video we are going to take a baby step and we are going to complete this feature the first step is we need to install the bootstrap let me close this and open a new terminal we have a multiple terminals just close this and let me clear this we need to install through the npm library let's install it npm install or i for short bootstrap you can specify the specific version if you want using at the rate and the version number here we are going to install the latest version just hit enter it is going to install the bootstrap library and it is going to add it to the package.json file clear this next we need to reference the library inside our main.tsx file let's open the file this is the starting point for our react application here it is going to render the app component inside this let's reference the library import we need to import the bootstrap bootstrap slash dist slash css slash bootstrap bootstrap dot css bootstrap dot css and we will also import the javascript library import bootstrap slash dist slash js slash bootstrap.js with this let's save the file now let's run the application let's open the terminal in order to run the application npm run dev it is going to start the development server hit enter application is started on port 5173 open the browser navigate to the local host 5173 you will see a slight changes in the text but we are getting this network error that is because our backend application is not started let's go to the IntelliJ and start the application this will start the API application is started on port 8080 now go back to the browser and just reload the application you will notice some changes in the text you can see the text and right now there is no borders in between the columns but you will see that the bootstrap styling has been applied to the table in the following videos we are going to redesign this entire expense list component in this video we are going to add the basic styling to our react application also we are going to add the google fonts once we add these basic styling to our react application we can use it throughout our application we are going to add the primary color primary primary background color and also we will add the google fonts let's start with adding the google fonts open a new tab and search for google fonts select the first link fonts.google.com here you can select the fonts whichever you like i'm going to select the one noto sans just click on this click on this get font we're going to embed this code just click on this get embedded code 
and select the we have two options link and import make sure to select the import and copy the import statement now we're going to add this inside our index.css file because the index.css file is the global style sheet if we add there then we can use it throughout our application let's open the visual studio code and navigate to index.css and paste it next we have imported just the font now we have to use it we're going to target the body and html tag body and html tag and we're going to add the font family using the font family we're going to add the fonts the google font which is noto sans as a secondary font i'm going to add the sans serif also i'm going to set the font size which is 1.1 em next i'm going to create a class for primary color app hyphen primary color i have already picked the color which is kind of a lavender color color i'm going to set the hexa hexa hexadecimal code hash 795 hash 795 and 89f 89f this is the primary color that i have chosen also i'm going to create one more class which is background color app primary background color we can just short for bg color i can add the background color let's save this so now we have added the primary color and also we have added the google font now if you let me just minimize this and let's go to the react application and now what i'll do is first of all i'm going to comment this and when i save this you will see the slight changes in the font now i'm going to uncomment this and save this you will see the slight changes okay now we have added the google fonts also we have added the primary color let's continue in the next video in this video we're going to add styling to the expense list component before that first let's add the container if you go to the browser and you can see our table is very close to the left side of the browser i'm going to bring it to the center i mean i'm going to add a padding to the left and right i'm going to add the bootstrap container let's go to the visual studio code and open the dashboard because the dashboard is the one it is going to render the expense list component so let's open the dashboard component and here i'm going to add the class name which is container this is the bootstrap container just save this and now if you go to the browser you can see now we have a nice padding at the left and right side of the table next we don't want this table we have to get rid of this table and we have to use the bootstrap card let's start using the bootstrap card so what i'll do is i'm going to open the visual studio code and go to the expense list component here first of all what i'll do is i'm going to comment this entire html content just comment it for now and we can start creating the new html content we're going to add the div with a class name card and inside this we're going to add the card header card header and inside the card header we are going to add the two things one is the text expense and the text is amount the left hand side we have the amount and the right hand side we have the amount and inside the card basically the bootstrap card is divided into three parts header body and footer we are not going to use the footer we are going to only use the header and body we have created the header let's also create the body we are going to 
create the bootstrap body and inside this we can add few more content but first let's add the content to the card header for the card header instead of using the div let's use the h5 tag so let's use h5 tag and inside the h5 tag we can add the text expense and also we're going to add the span tag we can add the amount we can add the amount and i'm going to move this to the right side of the card so i'm going to add the float end so let's save this now we can preview this inside the browser let's go to the browser you can see now we have this card we have the header and the body in the header we are adding the expense at the left hand side and the amount at the right hand side and inside the body section we can add the expenses let's go back to the visual studio code and inside the body we can start adding the content so first of all what i'll do is i'm going to just create a div and try to hard code the expense and we will display it we can preview it in the browser next we can replace it with the actual expenses list so let's start with the div tag i'm going to create a div and inside the div we can add the one more div which contains the flex which is the bootstrap flex div dot d hyphen flex also i'm going to add one more class which is justify content between content between and i'm going to add the custom css class which we are going to create it in just a bit border bottom hyphen one and padding i'm going to set this to three and i'm going to add text dark press tab it is going to create a div tag with all of these classes we have the flex and justify content between border bottom one padding three and text dark inside this we can create a one more div tag with a class card title card title and margin i'm going to set this to zero i'm going to set this to zero inside this i'm going to create a heading five and i'm going to add the text which is water bill which is nothing but the expense name and also i'm going to inside the div i'm going to create a new span tag with a class name font size to italic inside this i'm going to make this as span so let's change this to span and inside this we can display the date new date i'm going to convert this into to string next we are going to add a one more div for the subtitle div dot card hyphen subtitle and inside this let's create the span tag with a class bootstrap badge and we are going to add one more class which is rounded pill and i'm going to add the custom class which is app primary bg color bg color which we have added and inside this i'm going to display the amount suppose 500 bucks with this now if i preview this in the browser let's save this let's go to the browser you can see our expense that look like this and we need to move this to the left 
ad side we're going to do it in the following videos in this video we're going to iterate over the expense array and we're going to display the data which is coming from the backend api let's go to the visual studio code and inside this expense list component just after this card body div we have this div and just cut this div inside this let's make use of the expenses array expenses dot map and we get a single expense object let's call this expense and i'm going to paste the code which i have just copied paste it and now just save the file the emit will automatically format it now if you look at this we are iterating over the expenses array now if you save this and if you go back to the browser you will see the two expenses now all we need to do is we have to change the title date and amount using the expense object go back to the visual studio code here first of all i'll change this water bill to expense dot name similarly for the date let's make use of the expense dot date you can convert this to to string next we have this amount let's get rid of this and make use of the expense dot amount with this let's save the file and if you go back to the browser you will see the two expenses exp electricity bill and the water bill now what we need to do is we have to add a few classes to our index.css file if you go to the visual studio code like these classes bottom border bottom one and we need to add few card body and card title classes let's go to the index.css and inside this let's create a class the first class which we are going to uh, create is card body so card body this is actually a bootstrap class we are going to override this class with a padding zero with a padding zero next we will add the border bottom border hyphen bottom hyphen one and we are going to add the border bottom to one pixel solid one pixel solid light gray light gray i'm going to add next i'm going to add one more class which is card subtitle card subtitle and i will add margin top margin top to 1 rem save this and if you go to the browser you will see this design but i want to move this to the edge to this card what i'll do is let's go to the visual studio code and here we have this card body padding zero i'm going to just add the important and now if you look at this it has been uh, moved to the left of the card and now our expense list component looks very clean we have added the bootstrap card and we have override the few css classes and we made it little better we have improved our design let's continue in the next video in this video let's create a reusable component for navbar so that we can add it just above this expense list component and also we can keep it in every other place let's open the visual studio code and open the project explorer and inside this inside our components create a new file let's call this navbar.tsx we're going to create a functional component i'm going to generate the functional component using the shortcut key and just get rid of this import statement we don't need this now we have this navbar component we can render this inside our app component let's go to the app component and import the navbar we have imported it next we can return the fragment the react fragment we can render can return the react fragment and inside the fragment we can add the dashboard as well as the navbar so let's cut this let's use the react fragments instead of adding uh, unnecessary div we can use this react fragment let's paste the dashboard i'm going to also add the 
navbar we have this navbar and let's save this if you go to the browser you will see this navbar all right in the next video we can start adding the bootstrap classes to the navbar and we can make it improvise our design in this video let's add the bootstrap styling to the navbar component let's go to the bootstrap and click on this docs and if you scroll down you will see this component section and here you can find the navbar section and here let's copy the simple one let's scroll down and i can copy this so just copy this open the visual studio code and inside the navbar component just paste the code which you have copied and we need to change class to class name just select the class and in visual studio code if you press control d it is going to select the next occurrence similarly press for to select all the occurrences now you can change this to class name press escape double times and save this you can see now it has been formatted and from here first of all let's save this and go back to the browser and you can see the nice navbar inside our component now from here we can redesign the navbar component let's go back to the visual studio code here i'm going to get rid of this background body territory we don't need this let's save this and also instead of the container fluid let's use the container and next we have this anchor tag we don't need this later we are going to add the logo of our project so get rid of this and i'm going to remove this button for now just get rid of this and here we have this collapse collapse navbar collapse and also we have this id and next we have the navbar hyphen nav and inside this we have all the anchor tags for different links like home features pricing i'm going to get rid of this disabled for now let's get rid of this and next if you scroll down after this navbar i'm going to add a new uh, portion like after this navbar i'm going to add a one more thing so let's go to the bootstrap and if you scroll down we have this navbar pg territory container fluid i'm going to copy this form we need we need this later we're going to change this to div we, we're not going to keep it as a form so just copy this and go to the visual studio code after this navbar and just after this take this div the container div and scroll down just after this you can paste it and change the class to class name class name and we can change this to div instead of the form and also get rid of these inputs and we don't need this button instead let me save this i'm going to add two buttons one is for login and logout button login and similarly copy this we're going to add a button for logout i'm going to add the class names quickly class name ptn ptn small and also we're going to add btn background light similarly we're going to add the same class names btn btn small btn background light let's save this and if you go to the browser and you can see now we have a nice navbar we have this login and logout this is fine for now in the next videos we are going to add the background colors and we are going to add a few more styling to the navbar let's continue in the next video in this video let's add the icons to the react application of course you can use bootstrap icons which is provided by the bootstrap library but i would like to show you a one more library which is pretty easy and it has a lot of icons as well which is the react icons if you go to the browser and search for react icons click on this first link and you will see a lot of icons here and design icons bootstrap box icons uh, kirkum icons dev icons so many are there in this we are going to use one of the icon 
and first of all we need to install this npm library here is the command for that let's go to the visual studio code and here i'm going to click on this new terminal and let me expand this just clear this npm install and we need to use this react icons react icons press enter it is going to install this react icons npm library next we need to import that icons first of all let's search for icons go to the react icons we need this bars icon to add the hamburger just click on this you can see this is how you can use this so first you need to import this and you can use this let's go back to the visual studio code and inside this navbar at the very top i'm going to import that we need this fa bars this is the one just import this next scroll down just get rid of this span tag and we can use the fa bars which we have added it will take a lot of props if you check this you can see you can add all these as props i'm going to add one of the props which is the color prop you can specify the color i'm going to add white you can also pass the size for now let's pass the color and save this now if you go to the browser let me go to the browser and if you open the react application and let me minimize this you can see now we have this nice three lines hamburger later we can change this border and everything but for now this is fine all right so in this video we learned how we can install the react icons library which is the npm library and also we have used it you can go ahead and check out the prompts what all the prompt props we can uh, pass it to the react icons library you will understand more about it in this video let's create a new component for logo let's go to the visual studio code we're going to create a reusable component so inside the components folder create a new file let's call this logo tsx and we're going to create the functional component let me get rid of this import statement and now we are exporting this as a default component save this and inside the navbar we can render this first of all let's import the logo component and inside this just after the container we are going to render the logo component save this go to the browser you can see now we have this logo component now we need to change this and we need to add the logo in order to add the logo i have already downloaded the image so let's go to the download section you can see this is my logo logo.png which is 15 by 12 15 by 12 i'm going to add this to the project explorer so what i'll do is let's open the project explorer inside the assets folder i'm going to open this in a finder and i'm going to move this to the project explorer i'm going to move this to the assets assets folder now you can see inside our assets we have this logo.png first of all let's go to the logo component inside this i'm going to reference that image so inside this let's import that logo import i'm going to call this logo from we need to provide the path dot dot slash assets slash logo and now we can reference this logo first of all what i'll do is i'm going to get rid of this and or i can just keep this dev and inside this 
what I'll do is I'm going to add an image tag. I'm going to add image tag and also I'm going to add a class name to this which is navbar brand and here I'm going to add the image src I'm going to provide this logo we have to provide it within the curly braces and next I'm going to add alt in case if the logo did not load I'm going to add the text logo let's provide the width 48 next height I'm going to set as 48 48 by 48 and class name I'm going to add rounded circle rounded circle this is a bootstrap class and save this and instead of div I can use anchor tag let's use anchor tag and here we can add href for now I'm not going to add any links here just save this now if you go to the browser you can see a nice logo here this is a reusable component now we can use this logo anywhere else in our application all right that's all about this section i hope you understand how we can apply a style to the react application let's continue in the next video we will commit our code to the github and we will close this task